Me too. How's your head? That hurts. I'll get you some aspirin, shall I? No, don't bother. Aspirin's for pussies, bro. So you're gonna tell me your name or what? Carson. And before you say it, I know. Gay. I didn't pick it. Carson, eh? Mm. Yeah, you don't look like Carson to me either. What do I look like then? Um. Simon. Simon? Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly notable, Simon. No, I, I knew a Simon once. I went to school with him. And <laughs> he was gay too. <laughs> <laughs> he used to dye his hair and wear a lot of eye makeup. Because you dye your hair and wear eye makeup doesn't make you gay. It seems to me that half the kids going to school these days of both sexes dye their hair and wear eye makeup. Oh, so you said this was, um, does your brother Tom's room? And what's he like? He married or something? No, he's separated and he does not answer to Tom. My mother worked tirelessly to ensure that nobody ever called him Tom. She said it made him sound like a cat in heat, which, uh, it's quite appropriate now that I think about it these days. He enjoys a few side dishes, does he? Yeah, and Thomas does consider himself to be a ladies' man. And he sounds pretty cool. I wouldn't mind meeting him. Really? Yo, you got a TV in here or something, bro? No, no TV. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Do? Well, I'm bored. <laughs> well, you can read, then. Great expectations. <laughs> ah, fine old English classic. Oh, fuck, it's old. I mean, look at this dude. I've chewed on. Mice have gnawed at it, and sharper teeth than teeth of mice have gnawed at me. It's Miss Havisham. Just read the book. Yeah, it's not my type of shit, old man. <clears throat> oh, fuck, I stink. <laughs> Hey, you don't have a shirt or something I can change into, do you, bro? No, I don't. Oh, too bad. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to walk around without any clothes on. Yeah, no, you can't do that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute, what if somebody were to come in here like that? Um, I'll, I'll find you something. Wait, are you serious, bro? Hey, well, thank you! Now, I can, I can wash it if you want. I'm used to doing my own laundry and shit. Oh, great. I'm sorry, it's, it's kind of old. Carson, <laughs> do you think I need to work out? <laughs> I apologize for the color, okay? Well, I'm not... talking about my stomach muscles. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not a six pack. I mean, not like my friend Chess, yeah. but he works out on it's his It's got balls. a few holes in it, too. I apologize. Yo, Carson, come here and hit me. Come on, bro, just hit me, all right? I'm not going to bite you or anything. Wait, are you serious, bro? Right, just come over here and hit me. I know you won't. Now just get dressed! Feels a lot better. This is good of you, Carson. <clears throat> Thank you. Yo, Carson. Mm -hmm. I said thank you. All right. Hey, um, dude, do you think you could uh, get me my jacket just right there on the, the table? Why do you need your jacket? I'm just kind of cold. It'd be nice to have. I'm sweating. Are you all right? I'm fine, but I just, I just need my jacket. How do I know you don't have a weapon? Because I don't, man, all right? You give me my jacket and we'll be okay. Okay, no, no, you don't go through my stuff, all right? I don't go... Okay, fuck me, all right? What's this? Okay. Hey, Carson, you're not gonna understand, all right, okay? Whoa! When I see that, looks a lot like heroin. Okay, dude, all right, you know what? You don't understand, okay? So I'm desperate, so you give me one hit and you hold on to the rest of me. Okay, Carson. Hey, Carson, what are you about to do, okay? We don't understand, all right? Hey, Carson, listen to me, okay? We can, we can work at a deal here, okay? You can have me, do whatever you want with me, and you... Are you serious, man? Did you have any idea what that cost me? Yeah, God, man! I am going to scare you alive, man!
one hit, Carson, all right? One hit, that is all I am asking for. You know, I thought that we were friends, bro. Yo, I told you about my mom. What the fuck does this have to do with you anyway? I am not here by choice. I am chained to the fucking bed. No, when I get this stupid chain off, I'm gonna kill you, man. I'm gonna kill you. Been there all night? Oh, you were in a really bad way, Troy. Yeah. I, I think I should just go. Oh, no, no, no. You, you can stay, bro. You know, my, um, my sister helped me through a withdrawal. Have you been through this before? Um, worse than this. Well, I haven't been back on Smack for long, so this time. You have a sister? Yeah. Uh, her name is Angela. She's a nurse in Vancouver. When was the last time you saw her? Maybe four or five years ago, I'm not sure. When um, my parents split up, she went to go live with her dad. I stayed with my mom. Oh, her dad, so he's not your dad. <laughs> no. No, I don't know anything about my dad, except uh, according to my mom, he's a low-life dickhead, so. Uh, uh, he sounds kind of uh, hmm. Carson, how long have I been like this? So this will be four days now. Four days? Yeah. Could you eat something? I don't know if I can keep it down. We, we should try some eggs. My mother always said eggs were the best. <laughs> Thank you, bro. What for? Will you make a good nurse? A nurse? Me? Well, that's a first. What, you've never looked after anyone who was sick before? No. No, well, uh... Maxwell. But, but he was a mouse. <laughs> Tell me about him. Oh, it's not very interesting. You can tell me anyway, bro, all right? Well, uh, my mother, she's deceased as well. But I remember she used to call this cottage the mouse house because we always had mice running around. Dad used to set traps for them. One night I was in bed and <clears throat> we caught one by the tail, which of course by now is just about hanging off. And I called him Maxwell. 
few days later, the tail did fall off. But I nursed him back to health. I made him a home out of an old box I used to keep my comic books in. And I called it the Mouse House, of course, after this place. I carried it around with me all summer long. We were inseparable, Maxwell and I. You know, he used to ride around on my shoulder for hours on end. He never once bit me. I even taught him to do some tricks. We were quite the pair. That's the full extent of my nursing abilities. So why, um, why don't you just let me go, dude? I told you. I know, the attitude adjustment, but, you know, I bet you there are people looking for me right now. Oh, shall I prepare more eggs then? <laughs> you know, dude, you still haven't said why you didn't call the cops. Well, I have my reasons. You know what else is funny? And the whole time that I've been here, you haven't made or received a single phone call. Because I told people not to disturb you. Hey Carson, where's the phone? Never mind. Hey, you got a cell phone or something, right? Oh, shit, are you serious? There's no phone? Look, just because oh, I don't have phone, one here. I'm sick. Doesn't you mean I don't have one here. I could just call someone. Right. You know, this whole time, I've been thinking you're giving me some sort of a break. You know that? without coming up for air. Huh. No, this is not the problem. No, it's just seen Chess and I. Right. We can finish off a loaf of bread and a dozen eggs between us every morning. Who's Chess? He's a friend of mine from Juvie. He was there for a knife and his stepdad. Oh, another fine example of Canada's future. <laughs> I think more deserved it. You know, he used to beat on Chess every chance he got. And he broke his arm once for stealing his mom's weed. Yeah, I suddenly realized what a sheltered life I led. <laughs> we still hang out. Believe me, bro. Wait, you met Jess, you'd think I was so preppy. So, Troy, why, why did you choose my cottage to move into? Why? <laughs> oh, I hope this place is awesome, you know? It's, uh, it's the kind of place I'd like to have myself one day. I mean, I freaking love that old, that boat house you got with the cabin on top. Uh, you don't actually have a boat in there, do you? No, it's put in storage for the winter. Ah, oh, too bad. You could take me out for a spin. Oh, another missed opportunity to bond. Besides, it's old like me. My boat doesn't spin. No, you could just take me fishing, or uh, I'm too old for that too, Carson. <laughs> no, no, I've been known to cast a few off the end of the dock. It's a perfect place for lake trout, pickerel, bass. Are you freaking serious, bro? Oh, yeah. Hey, well then, well, let's go fishing, all right? Oh, no, no freaking take the chain off my leg. Not and going to have Troy. Hey, come on, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you anything. Yeah, I'm sure right? you're not, right? but I'm not taking it off the chain to go to fish. Last thing, it doesn't no, matter whether I have bait. I'll get, I'll get some, we're gonna get no, a lot of fish. Come on, man, I'm afraid. I'm not taking you off the chain. You don't trust me, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. You sit there boasting about all the fish you've caught, building me up, and then you say, oh, no, Tracy, I can't take you fishing because you're not good enough to fish me. It's nothing to do with that. Yo, fuck you! I yeah, fucking hate you, man. Look, I'm sorry. Look, don't shut up. Don't say nothing to me. I don't even I'm understand. I'm a douchebag. I said I'm sorry. Don't talk like a book to write like, something. Don't understand why you're speaking to me like this. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> Intruder's block. <laughs> then let me go. The well, look, why here, Troy? Why did you choose Skelton Shores? Okay, look, I was 
stay with a girl a few miles up the road and well, I guess you could say I outstayed my welcome. I was on my way back into town, I saw your boathouse, and I figured I'd just crash there for a few nights, okay? I mean, I only came up here to see if there was any booze. So, this right. girl you were staying with, she your girlfriend? No, I met her on the net. Well, listen, I tell you, bro, well, not that you'd be interested, but <coughs> boy, she has got the, the cutest ass and the nicest tits you ever saw. Boy. So, she is not your current girlfriend, then? Nah. Uh, I got a few girls I can screw every now and then when I need to get my rocks off. <laughs> How accommodating for you. <laughs> you know, what about you? You got a boyfriend or whatever? No, I neither have a boyfriend or whatever. I did have somebody I was close to for a while, but he died a couple of months ago. AIDS. No, not AIDS. <laughs> Mario had thyroid cancer. Cancer, eh? You know, there was this guy at, um, at Belmont, the detention center I was in when I was uh, 17. You know, Mr. Wheeler. <laughs> Wait, this guy was so cool with me. You know, he, um, he brought a 69 Oldsmobile into the center. Oh, Frank, him and me, we would, like, work on this thing for hours. I am telling you, Carson, we stripped the engine down until it was in, like, a thousand pieces, and then we put it back bit by bit. Oh, my God, Frank. And then when we then when we turned the key, the thing purred. I mean, Carson, it purred like a cat, Greg. <sighs> he got cancer. He had to uh, he had to leave the center. Yeah, he came back six months later, but uh, he was real skinny and he didn't have any hair or nothing. <laughs> yeah, he had to sit the whole time too. We talked, but it was about cars, mostly. And then when it was time for him to go, he did something weird. <laughs> he hugged me. I mean, I, I didn't hug him back or anything. I mean, what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? You know, it wasn't the, the cancer that killed Mario in the end. He just couldn't take the deterioration any longer, so he downed a cocktail of drugs. Yeah, quick. Not for him, maybe, not for me. Yo, how old was he? 31. 31? Great, Carson, you like him young. <laughs> Yo, listen, I'm sorry, bro. No, I need a glass of wine. Do you want one? Well, you got any beer? No. Ooh, okay. My brother might have some in the, uh, down in the cabin, in the fridge down there. Well, I could get some for you, I guess, if you like. Wait, are you serious? Sure. Oh. Yo, you're pretty awesome, bro. <laughs> you know what? I do believe that's the first time I've ever been referred to as awesome. Yeah? How's it feel? Awesome? <laughs> Sorry, Troy. The fridge is off down in the cabin for the winter. So these are a bit warm. But you know what? I could uh, cool them down in this fridge for you if you like, Troy. Yeah. 
Didn't your mom ever teach you not to point guns at people? Who did you call? I ordered a pizza. I hope you like green olives. Who did you call, Troy? Ghostbusters. I can't believe you betrayed me like this after I went all the way down to the cabin to get your beer. I'm chained to the bed like a dog. I have a right to try and escape my jail. I'm not your jailer. Who holds the damn key? Yeah, well, that's for my protection. You don't need to do that, all right? I'm not going to hurt you. This was never about hurting you. Well, I was just starting to believe that. Right, well, if you know what's good for you, you'll let me go. Let you go? Why would I do that? Who did you call? Just remember that I tried to warn you. Was it that chess character you were talking about before? It might have been. Is he on his way here now? Hey, dude, it's like I said. You take the chain off, I'll meet up with him, and you'll never see me again. What I'm supposed to believe that you just walk away from here after I have you chained up for four days? It doesn't look like you have many options now, does it, bro? Hey, Frick, you don't want to be anywhere near here when Chester's up. He's gonna die you like a fish. Bro. What? Well, then why would you call someone because like that? I'm not a dumbass. I know it's only a matter of time till you turn me in. If I were gonna turn you in, wouldn't I have done that by I now? I don't know, Frick. I mean, but why am I here in the first place? Okay? I mean, who knows what you're capable of doing? Well, I'm just trying to help you! Help me, you know? Fuck this bullshit, dude, all right? You're trying to own me like that mouse you had. No, 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 like you're wrong. Like some stupid no. cat. No, that's wrong. I, I bet you kept that thing for years. No, you took him out, you played with him and fed him and everything, and then you just shut him in his cage. No, I him. kept him till the end of the summer. Yeah, and then what you do? It doesn't matter. What did you let him go? You don't need to know this. Just tell me, what did you do? No, 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 it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal, just fucking tell me! I drowned it! We, we had to go back to the city at the end of the, the summer to the apartment. Dad said I couldn't take him with me, so I had to take the Mouse House and Maxwell and, and I put them in the lake and, and watch them disappear below the surface. Sucks to be the mouse. <laughs> and you can't take me back to the city either, bro, so I guess you're planning on drowning. No, 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 don't be ridiculous. Of course not. Listen, leave now, bro, okay? Leave you here? Yes. Okay. Okay. I know that there's a station a few miles up the road. You call someone to pick you up. When Chess shows up, you're going to be long. I'm long not going to gonna leave my family cottage to the likes of two juvenile delinquents. Who the hell knows what it's you're going to do while they're gone? man, all right? I'm trying to tell you something that's going to save your life, and you're worried about this stupid place, okay? Fuck, man, you don't know what, what he's... What? What he's capable yeah. of?